Hi, Vector Builder community. My name is Kestrel Green, and I'm the Northwest Territory Manager here in Seattle, Washington. Thanks for tuning into this video where I'm going to be talking about our TET-based inducible gene expression vectors. Some of you may be familiar with the system, some may not. So in this video, I'm going to highlight the major components, how they work, and then touch base on some of the products and services that we can offer you to implement this tool into your research. So on to the fun part. What can a TET-based system do for you? In the simplest terms, this tool allows you to control the expression of your gene of interest spatially and temporally. How is this achieved? There are two major components to any TET-based system. The first component is the tetracycline responsive element promoter, TRE for short, which controls the expression of your gene of interest. The second components are the activator and suppressor proteins, which control the activity at the TRE promoter. There's the reverse tetracycline controlled transactivator protein, the tetracycline controlled transactivator protein, and the tetracycline controlled transsuppressor protein. Now that's a mouthful, so I'm going to shorten these down to RTTA, TTA, and TTS proteins for the remainder of this video. The power of this tool lies in the ability to control the activity of these activator and suppressor proteins with, you might have guessed, tetracycline. Essentially, you're able to control the expression of your gene of interest by either adding or removing tetracycline from the environment. We offer both TET on and TET off second generation inducible systems. In a TET on system, gene expression is turned on in the presence of doxycycline or tetracycline. A TET off system is complementary to this, where gene expression is turned off in the presence of tetracycline. It is important to note that this system requires all components to be present, including the TRE promoter driving your GOI and the regulatory proteins associated with the inducible system you're using. We offer a few different vector designs to achieve this. Our all-in-one expression vector contains both the TRE GOI cassette and the RTTA TTS regulatory proteins for the TET on system or the TTA protein for the TET off system. This option reduces experimental complexity since all components are present on a single vector and you will only have to perform a single transfection or transduction to introduce this inducible system in your environment. Conversely, we offer individual TRE or regulatory protein vectors. This option may be better suited for studies of substantial genes limited by the vector guard capacity, or if you already have some components of the system at your disposal. At the beginning of this video, I mentioned that this gene expression system also allows for spatial control of gene expression. Vector Builder can design your TET-based vectors with custom, tissue-specific promoters controlling the expression of your regulatory protein. This feature allows you to define what cell types you want to express your GOI in, since these regulatory proteins must be present to control expression at the TRE promoter. Our free design service, a 100% vector sequence guarantee, and viral titer assurance provides you the time to focus on your publishable downstream experiments while saving time and money. If you're thinking about implementing a TET-based system in your research, please send an email to service at vectorbuilder.com and I or another member of the team will be in touch shortly to continue the conversation. To find more information about our products and services, please visit our website at vectorbuilder.com and on LinkedIn, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube at Vector Builder.